This is part B of the previous question. Explain how the input voltage is changed to an output voltage. Of course, he means in the transformer. To give a full answer of this question, you must first remember how the transformer works. This is a transformer. An AC current, or you can say an AC voltage, is supplied to the primary coil on the left. This AC voltage causes what is known as constantly changing magnetic field, or you can say a variable magnetic field. This constantly changing magnetic field is transferred through the iron core from the primary to secondary coil. In the secondary coil, the magnetic field cuts the wires of the secondary coil. This causes an induced voltage, which is also AC, which is related to the number of turnings on the secondary coil. The ratio between the number of turnings on the primary coil and the number of turnings of the secondary coil is the same ratio of the voltage on the primary coil to the voltage on the secondary coil. This is how the transformer works. AC voltage on primary changes to induced AC voltage on secondary. So we can say that the transformer works in three steps. Number one in primary coil, AC current or voltage causes a constantly changing magnetic field. Then in the iron core, this magnetic field is transferred from primary coil to the secondary coil. The third step is in the secondary coil. This magnetic field cuts the wires of the secondary coil, causing an induced AC voltage. This is related to the number of turnings. The mark scheme gives you two marks for answering this question. If you mention that magnetic field of primary passes through the core to the secondary, this is one mark. And this is exactly what we said here. The second mark is for mentioning that magnetic field of secondary cuts the coil, causing an induced output. And this is exactly what we said here. I know that our answer is much longer than that in the mark scheme, but our answer is detailed. And remember that the mark scheme only gives you the keywords, not the full answer.